one of the good things about vinyl is that you can work it quite quickly because obviously, well, you can see it, it's warming up anyway, and so it will, it will actually respond even better once it's warmed. And um, so one is warming, um, one is being worked on, but then suddenly I might see something there and I get that warming. So the whole thing is moving in a way. This, this is what I'm after. I like a sort of sense of movement, and I think that's very good for the narrative, really. So... Um, my most terrifying times have been when I'm working on a big box, block of wood because that block might have cost me £300. <laughs> if I make a mistake, you know, I don't want to... So you cheat, I mean, what else do you do? Um, and uh, you print it and then you touch it up, <laughs> um, you know, when you're actually doing your artwork and so on. And, uh, but this it doesn't matter. If I make a, a bad mistake, I can throw it away. I mean, it's 50p. Um, I hold up my, um, you know, schedule, but I mean, okay, you have to do it. But after every job, there's an awful lot of um, spoilt um, vinyls, which doesn't happen when you're using wood. <laughs> this, this is a block I did some years ago now. What I do is um, I have uh, precipitated chalk so that once the, th once the block has been printed and so on, in order to see, to get back uh, what, I've, you know, what I'm, I'm trying to see, if I wanted to do more work into it, um, I would put, uh, I would rub precipitated chalk into it. And um, so you, you, can, you can actually see that, uh, you know, the difference between much broader cutting and um, much finer cutting, uh, which I couldn't do that on there, obviously. Um, and this was a book I did with Adrian Mitchell, poet, and I decided that I would do the whole book on one block, because this is another way that I work, um, certainly with wood, is that um, what I try and do is, and it takes a lot of time in the first place to actually design it, because what you want to do is you want to make a picture which um, has all the relevant illustrations in it. And then, again, you've got to go through the whole process. You do lots of roughs. You get it right, hopefully. Um, turn the tracing paper over, over, trace it all through carbon paper, ink it in so that you've established it on the block, and um, start away. And um, as I say I've never attempted anything larger than this. This is this is my uh, magnum opus, if you like. <laughs>